I've been playing on this relatively unpopulated server. If you can probably guess based on the way I'm mining, you can guess what my chosen is. It's time to choose one that seemed like a challenge, which the uh, phantom one is most certainly a challenge. If you haven't guessed, you can literally just walk through walls, which changes how you like to mine. Well, you know, all the standard things that you like to do. There's also some other expanded ones, but I don't care about those. Instead, we just mine how like this. And wow, we are back in our mine. And you know, it's a little bit of a challenge, but so far, the biggest issue of being a literal ghost is that you are fucking hungry all the time. Bill, fuck hit me. Oh, I'm starving again. What? Oh, starvation again. Because apparently you can't just eat souls like some undead creature, and you have to spend all your time getting food. Most of the time, if you're being attacked, you can just go, oh. Okay. If you want to hunt or find anything, you can just walk out. And if you're scared of being seen by other players, because let's, let's be honest, you know, the whole ghost thing is, oh no. Well, uh, good luck attacking me now, you can't see me, you'd have to mind to get to me. And there's that. But when you are just trying to do basic survival and building things, you run into the fact that you can die very, very easily. So, I've chosen a place for my house, and since I'm a ghost, I don't really need a door, so... This is based off one of my, I think, more contentious fiction ideas, basically, in the book, it's a redstone, I, it's a redstone door, but, bro, I, I suck at redstone. So, there's a hallway mention, and it's like a redstone door, but, once again, not great at that. And, there isn't really set rooms, like, with doors in the thing, so I made sure that, this is supposed to be a bedroom, but I don't have any wool, so I can't really do bed. And I've been, like, scanning the detail craft Reddit so I can get ideas. I'm not copying anyone's ideas directly, just or seeing how people do things and then taking my own spin. This is slightly modded, so you do see kettle. We got a little kitchen area. We have whatever the fuck this is. This is just a cool storage, I guess. So I made that. Put my water source here so I have infinite water. We got in the book, the dining room, and kitchen are right next to each other, so I, uh, made a Minecrafty kitchen, keep trying to hide my crafting tables because they don't fit the color palette, so we got that, then we got a four-person, I think I made it a four-person dining room table, yeah, shoot, oh, uh, one sec, there, I'm in a ghost mode, four-person dining room table, um, don't have any leather or anything, so I can't do item frames yet. We got a storage area that's described as messy, and once again, no item frames or armor stands, and we don't have the data pack like the Hermitcraft data pack made by Exumo, like the Exumo Void one, where you can do that. I'm gonna add more chests here because this is not gonna work out long term. This is a starter base, though, but you know, and this is supposed to be where the cave area is, or pool. Um, yeah, that's gonna be its own progress, and I really need some enchanting, because all this did this much damage to my diamond pick. There's no enchanting room in the book, which means I get to go elsewhere. I think I'm going to set up, but I'm not a great builder, but I do, I don't know, I like to think I can, I can, uh, assemble something decent. And then out here is... I'm gonna try to cover up the sky, because that. I don't have enough food to heal, I don't think. Hold on. Can't heal, but that. Oh, I can heal a, few, a little bit. Basically connect, uh, what the fuck? Oh fuck, I forgot I can't shift. It's gonna peek over the edge. Basically connect these, I think there's four, three mountains at least, so connect this, connect that. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk through the ground, I guess. Oh, wow, that, I, I healed up more than I thought I would. To there, and to there, okay, so I do have four. And basically create a little sheltered camp area. I'm gonna look at some designs for some campfire and such, and 
Basically, this whole lot's gonna be mine. Uh, I hope no one planned to build over here. There's only two of us, so, uh, yeah, I don't think anyone planned to build over here, and probably I'll scare them off by building over here in the first place. And I don't know. I don't know how to set- I don't think I'll set up an outside enchanting area, which means I won't be enchanting for a while, because I don't- I think I'll set up, like, a library-esque place, probably here. That's a weird cave. I'll probably set up a library. I don't have any- I don't have any, uh, books I think that I use a library in, so I may just- I may do some Google searching, see what kind of library I want to build in there. I think that that place screams library. And that'll be where an enchanting room is. We'll have some campfire set up. Uh, I don't know, maybe like a demon hunting camp kind of feel. Basically a bunch of convergent stories so that I can walk through it and think, oh yeah, this is referencing this story that I wrote. Um, over here. I don't know, I feel like this would be a good camp, campground training area. Like, clearly there's a bunch of people in the middle of training, no one's really sure what's going on, it's kind of that hastily made training ground where everyone's just kind of, there's people with bags, food thrown around, tents propped up, I don't have any armor stand so I can't really make a mingling of people, but I'll suggest life elsewhere. Uh, I might be able to get some drowns, because I do plan to cover this, and drowns are dock aisle during the day, and I myself am a drowned. See if I can remember it's F5, right? I myself am a drowned, a little bit dead of a drowned, but you know, I'll uh, get myself some friends. I love drowns. Alright, let's go check out the nether real fast and see. I like burning in the nether. We should check that out too. They also left me a. Hey there, buddy. They left me a chest, but a. Uh, Spawn protect. <laughs> uh, that can't be a ghost to go through the portal. I see the uh they already did this to Oh, buddy, uh, it's not a good place for you. They did this so if anyone has blaze born or anything, they don't have to wait for someone to build a portal for them to leave. Oh, oh no! I'm just curious. I have too much on me really to be ghosting around like this. But, you know what? I have, I have this... Ah, oh, dang it, Lumberjack doesn't work on these. Oh well. Alright, let's go look for some villagers. Villager hunt time. My favorite task. No villages. I'm not having any luck finding them. Until I find villagers or die. Any chance one of you will be a best friend? Uh, my first try? First try? Hell yeah! Luckily, you'll have no trouble keeping up with me, because I am so slow. Uh, I'll name the dog Bones. That's my default dog name, just name the dog Bones. And I don't think I ever run into villages and mountains, so I'll head this way. I feel like a village is certain. Will I land in the water? Uh, they could have, what if there's no, what if they accidentally turn generate structures off? Looks like I may be having to... Oh, thanks, buddy. Looks like I may have to find... What, teleport? Looks like I may have to make bookcases the old-fashioned way. Don't really want to do it. I have not found the village. Just managed to find. The jungle. Oh! A rare pink sheep? Well, why do you have it? 
That's a fight to see. For that, they get to live. We could find a pink sh sheep, but we can't find a freaking village. Find a jungle, not a village. Oh, heck. Well, what do you know? Thanks, Bones. Seems you're, you brought on some gun luck. That pink sheep was actually a sign. There's some villagers. I did not come all this way for there being no villagers. There you are. Still in your bed. Why are you running? I'm not trying to bury you alive, Mr. Me. Sir, I'm just trying to trap you in this hole. Thank you. There must be enough villagers nearby that's the goal. A cleric would be a good idea. Trapping them inside their house is so much easier when I don't have to use a door. It's not even near homes. Oh, you, you, you can sense what I'm about to do to you, don't you? You know what fate befalls you. Dog, you don't do it. I didn't mean it. Don't grab him. Well, that sucks. I don't blame you, buddy. Let's make a table. Well, guess we're done for the day.